Hello and welcome back. Michael Proper here with Clear Center. We also have joining us Michael Demina from Hewlett Packard Enterprise. He's a chief technologist there and we're grateful to be graced with his presence. Today we're going to be talking specifically about the Internet of Things, which he has lived for, I would say, the majority of his life, and I'm sure he's excited to see it kind of come to fruition right now, as you know, it's 2017 for those of you that are watching this in the future. But um, we just want to hear his thoughts on basically the Internet of Things and how IT operations are going to basically um, advance over time and how some of the Clear Center products could possibly play into that, namely ClearVM. So, Michael Demina. Thank you for joining us. We're grateful to have you in our presence. Thank you so much, Michael. Thank you for giving me the opportunity. <clears throat> yeah, so the Internet of Things is really uh, a profession and a passion to me. And, and at the moment, really, the, the primary uh, reason I'm so interested in it is something related to operations transformation. Uh, in terms of businesses from every gamut of the industry, they are transforming their operations and they're leveraging some of the capabilities that have been developed in the IT and telecom space, namely wireless and virtualization. The whole idea of wireless really is how do you, in a very cost-effective way, connect sensors to extract data so that you can move that data to the proper place to be analyzed and generate value out of that data. To do that, wireless enables that sensor uh, connectivity in a very efficient and cost-effective way. The second area is virtualization. Nowadays, you know, most of the operations technology area, they are vertically integrated systems, physical systems to do silo individual things. But by leveraging the virtualization technology, which is common in IT mm -hmm. products, you can use a, a common x86 platform, run a virtualization environment, and you have different apps that used to live in different systems, share the same infrastructure in a virtualized environment. And to do that, the foundation is really an operating system. That operating system has to have the open environment and uh, virtualization capability to allow seamlessly to create, uh, uh, number one, a footprint for the different type of uh, OT systems that have a small footprint, a medium, large footprint, but secondly, have enable virtualization at the operating system level rather than adding extra layers of uh, software on that. Because the more software you add, the more complex it becomes in operations technology folks do not have IT staff sitting at the operations environment. So you need an operating system based on Linux, and that's where Clear OS, Clear VM come in. In terms of Clear OS, leveraging the, the basic CentOS-based Linux platform, you have added value, a lot of values that enable virtual networking, virtual NATing, mm -hmm. a number of other capabilities to allow the wireless communication of sensors to be flawlessly capture the data and process that data and move the data to the proper audience, in this case, the application that makes sense of that data. And then your clear VM creates a virtualization environment for different applications to share the same compute and storage environment. And in fact, add a virtual networking environment through your multi one capabilities already included to allow to be able to access different network and cloud environments based on the application's needs. Wonderful. And I think the most important thing was you've added on top of this is the whole application space or the app store scenario where now you can bring different apps to enable that OT environment operate in a much more efficient way. Exactly. So the ClearOS marketplace with all the apps sitting on top of ClearOS, sitting on top of ClearVM, which then can be centrally managed from one web interface with lots of different environments and the end outcome could be something like this. Let's say that a large cellular provider, um, maybe like AT&T, et cetera, um, wanted to be able to provide predictive failure instead of watching one of their cell towers, the air conditioning unit, go out in it and heat up and then damage some equipment and the users go down where that cell tower goes down. So a good example of how this could be deployed is you put one of these x86 based systems out there and it basically has a little USB port on it that has sensors that identifies whether a system is heating up or possibly not vibrating a certain way or you're doing things that are going to predictively see if this actual air conditioner unit is going to fail. If it's going to fail, then you send somebody out, you can reduce your down costs, your equipment costs from a damage standpoint, 
And all of your service vendors now can actually prioritize their time maybe a week in advance or two weeks in advance to knowing that the system is going to go down. So how do you save time and money based upon the future of Internet of Things? That's a good example. Again, we're grateful for Michael Medina and all that he does, not just in the technology world, but in life. He's a good person, a good man. Thank you for joining us. Thank is there anything so else you want to add there before I, we wrap I think, up? I think you summarized it very nicely. At the end of the day, operation transformation is about reducing cost and bringing value to the business. And to do that, whenever you introduce new technologies, new capabilities, you don't want to introduce new high capability requirements in terms of IT staff. So you need to create a remote management and monitoring mechanism. And that's the key aspect of, I think, clear or clear VM that has to be accentuated. Okay. It facilitates remote management and monitoring of end system, the devices far away from a centralized web-based unified interface. And that's very, very fundamental. Awesome. Well, thank you again for joining us. I appreciate it. Thank you.